This is the next update to my uh, Air Data Instrument project. Uh, as you can see, it's considerably smaller now than what it used to look like, which was all arranged out on a breadboard before. Um, I've made some noticeable improvements, obviously, to the physical structure, where you can see the uh, barometric pressure unit and the air, the differential pressure unit are now included on a on an Arduino shield. The buttons down here are. Uh, set and plus and minus, and this potentiometer here is for uh, contrast on the LCD display using the red LCD display that I hope to use in the final product now, so it looks more like what I wanted it to. Uh, it has a cool new splash screen. And obviously I've changed the name from uh, Overland Labs to Danger Pants Labs. I think people will be able to read it better. The menu now looks like this. Coleman. Pressure units. Menu timeout. Backlight set to 1 because this camera is very sensitive to red light. And a speed offset, which was uh, a differential pressure sensor was not particularly happy with, uh, with the, the offset that I had set in software and um, it became obvious, and particularly with some experience, it's become obvious that it needs to have an offset that you can set from the menu. Um, as you saw, it comes up in the Colesman menu item, which is uh, expected behavior because every time you turn it on, the pressure is going to be different. So you probably always want to reset it. And if you know your home altitude, you just set it by altitude because uh, as you change the pressure, or as you change the Colesman value, it tells you what the new altitude would be. And I know that I'm about 420 feet here, so I set it for about 420 feet. And I know that I'm right, and I've actually confirmed with Boeing Field that this is, uh, we're at 30.06 uh, altitude setting right now. Oh, so one new feature is that the uh, vertical speed is now on a data smoothing, three second data smoothing algorithm, and that uh, helps it a lot. It makes it much, much smoother and easier to read, and it doesn't drop from zero to minus 102 is the only step. Future plans for this include uh, integrating a clock module, which is going to mean that the display will have to be uh, rearranged so that it will ha it will be a little bit more dense. I won't be able to include units for vertical speed, and um, the, but the bezel that goes around it will indicate what everything is, and so that should make it clear enough for for actual use. I have tested it with uh, with actually strapping it on a motorcycle and and driving along, and I've actually uh, also had it in a car with a friend driving, and uh, it seems to be pretty accurate. You know, it's hard to say exactly because the the wind speed is never exactly known. You never know exactly how much wind is out there, but uh, it has been very close to the ground speed on relatively calm days, so I'm going to call that good enough. You can see the pressure if I do this. See it's going up in speed as I just put pressure in the top part here. Anyway, there's the Danger, Danger Pants Labs air data unit, still version 1.0 or 1, 0. something, or I haven't decided on a version number yet, but when it comes out, it will be 1.0.